on, so. on the topic of more like, you know, back of uh, back, back to like diet and food exposures and that kind of thing. Uh, I know you and I both sell professional enzymes that we use clinically with people. So I think that'd be a good strategy. If you do feel like for some reason you're off the rails or maybe you're not dialed back in yet, I do recommend like a broad spectrum enzyme just because you can start to break down dairy and gluten molecules using enzymes. So I'm not telling you to eat those things, but people got to live and people are not always going to be dialed in. So I think a good broad spectrum enzyme would be a smart thing to do. And then 100%. First, first thing of the year that, that I know you would recommend as well as me is I would get some labs done. I would look at your stool. I would look at your urine and start your year with some data so that you're not coming into the year blindly. You're coming into the year with some information about your mitochondria. How are they performing? What do your neurotransmitters look like? How's your dopamine and serotonin levels? What about your nutrients? How's your vitamin C? How's your B vitamins? What's your glutathione status? Do you have bacterial overgrowth? Do you have candida? Do you have parasites? Do you have gut inflammation? Do you have gluten antibodies and your immune system is pissed off right now? I think it'd be a great strategy to start off the year with getting data. So if you need help clinically, you can reach out to us. We can run these labs on you. We send them to your home. You do an at-home stool and at-home urine. We've done this literally thousands of times. You can get over 100 pieces of data just with one stool and one urine sample. So I'd highly recommend that. I think that's the best thing you can do. I think it's great to get all the foundational pieces in order, but when you really want to tease things apart and figure out what you're up against, you've got to test, not guess. And so if you go buy some random energy supplement or some random fat burning supplement or some random, you know, pre-workout formula, you don't really know what you're doing. 100%. 100%. So just kind of foundational things out of the gate. If you're through the holidays, try to mitigate the damage by choosing foods that are going to be less inflammatory, still give you the the feeling of your enjoying life, right? You're cheating a little bit, but it, it's mitigating the damage. Like Evan said, um, higher quality, broad spectrum enzymes and acids, especially when you're eating those food, because a lot of foods that you're more intolerant to, you have a hard time breaking it down. And the lack of breakdown of that food can create more bloating and gas and constipation. So we'll put our recommended digestive supports below in the links below so you can see them. And we have different HCL enzymes and bio support products. And then we have different binders or detoxification support with glutathione or, or sulfur aminos uh, down below. Also, the immune support I'm using right now, just to give you kind of top five things I'm taking right now, of course, vitamin D, of course, N-acetylcysteine, really important, um, vitamin C, quercetin, and I would say reishi mushroom is an excellent thing. These are all things that I'm doing right now. Of course, a couple other things that I'm doing uh, preventatively are going to be sinus flushes, where I rotate between either a sinus flush with saline, uh, between iodine, silver, and hydrogen peroxide, all diluted. And I've been doing a little bit of nebulizing hydrogen peroxide. And I've been just taking the 5 ml saline blister packs and doing about three to four drops of hydrogen peroxide in there, which brings the amount to about 0.1%. And that works really good. Just trying to keep um, kind of disinfecting that upper respiratory tract airway. That's where the virus tends to replicate and grow. And if we can knock that down with flushing or nebulizing, that prevents the viral load from going up, which that's what creates all the inflammation, right? So if we keep the viral load down, keep some good natural anti-inflammatories going, keep your immune system supported. Of course, sugar suppresses your immune system, get 12 hours of sleep a night. All these are foundational things out of the gates.